happiness, spirituality, enlightenment, together, energies. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna watch another What I Eat in a Day by Hitomi Mochizuki. I hope I pronounce this right. Hitomi is yet again another young female vegan YouTuber that thinks it's a great idea to malnourish herself and whilst at it to display her beautiful empowered armpit hair. Let's have a closer look. What is this? Is this food? Hello and welcome hmm. back to my channel. Thank you. That's so how you get up. Being here, Interesting. I'm really Who filmed to you? you what I've been the camera was there all night, waiting for you to get up. Feels good for my body right now. So hysterical, so staged. Why would you do that to yourself? So you know that you had to get up out of bed, right? And put on the camera <laughs> to film yourself like this. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? You're not in bed. You probably got up, put on makeup, went back to sleep to film that scene. Ridiculous. I'm really excited to share with you what I've been nourishing myself with lately. And this is... <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait a second. That's a contradiction. You cannot nourish yourself when you're a vegan. Impossible. Just what feels good for my body right now. So mm. I hope you like it. I usually start off my mornings <sighs> like this with some reading or journaling and mm. drink a lot of water. But why do you drink a lot of water? That is a good question, isn't it? You probably think it's very hydrating, but that is not the truth. You will notice yourself every time you drink water, you will piss it out again, right? Meanwhile, if you would eat foods that are naturally rich in water, you would actually retain that water. So water is really not as hydrating as you would like to believe. No point in drinking so much of it. Wow, powerful. Very bad form. As hard as it may be to imagine now, and the super slow. Yeah. Uh, looks classically like low vegan energy. But why the armpit hair? It's quite interesting to see Alice, formerly known as Raw Alignment, used to have armpit hair as well when she was a vegan. Then, when she stopped veganism, pretty much overnight, she shaved off that bush. Quite fascinating correlation there. A morning routine since I moved, I cancelled my gym membership, I got some weights. And you know, I try some to words. get some movement and some strength training in in the morning. And I've been <clears> listening to The Plant Paradox on Audible. It basically exposes hmm. the dangers good. behind healthy foods. And I highly recommend it to anyone who's vegan or not vegan because mm -hmm. it's just easy to fall into the idea of all organic things being healthy or all natural Sweet. things being good. I'm for happy you. to hear and this. What kind of exposes the truth behind healthy things? And you can think of Dr. Gundry, who wrote this book, Whatever You Will. However, he really points out beautifully that there are many, many anti-nutrients in plants. And that is something that vegans do not think of. Now, as a vegan reading this book, you probably will remove certain lectin-containing foods and certain gluten-containing foods, thinking, believing that now, magically, you are healthy. But as I said many times before on this channel, the only essential macronutrients nutrients are proteins and fats, this beautiful magical bundle that you can find in meat. Simple as that, no anti-nutrients, just nutrition. If you further educate yourself, you will come to the same conclusion. Now, if you have to eat plants, you will always have to find a method to get around those anti-nutrients, to choose other plants. Maybe this one works, maybe that one works. In the end, it does not work. According to your name, I have to assume that you are from Japanese descent, or at least 50%. If you would eat like your Japanese ancestors, you would be supremely healthy. They have a fantastic raw food culture. I have been loving eating vegan omelets for breakfast and I'm going to show you how I do it. So I start off... Uh, you've been loving eating vegan omelets for breakfast. No, you settled for the alternative. 
what you would truly love, especially as a Japanese, is proper omelets made from eggs. Japanese omelets are among the best, absolutely delicious. But now you tell yourself that eating the plant omelet somehow is what you truly want. You're not satisfying your craving. You're settling for less. Taking some onions and yellow pepper along with some spinach. I like to cook these up first because the vegan uh, egg kind of... I thought you read the plant paradox. Those green leaves are not human food. They're very high in oxalates and will lead to kidney stones. Cooks really quickly and this is made out of split yellow mung beans and I'll have the full recipe for it linked down below but mm. I usually make a lot and then I have enough of the mix to last me throughout the week and it's yeah, pretty the funny thing about this is that that egg egg that you uh, that you eat is obviously very high in carbohydrates right it is a plant food it is a bean it comes with lectins as well it comes with carbohydrates you will not be able to sustain this diet because you will become insulin resistant that is what is happening to all vegans in their 30s. Now you're probably still 20 and you can get away with it. Long term, you will absolutely destroy your insulin response. Meanwhile, if you would eat simple eggs, you would be at zero carbs. Nourishing, filling breakfast, especially because you How can add is it as much nourishing? stuff as you want. And it cooks up within five minutes. So and it I looks just like eggs. my little vegan omelet and you a side of omelet toast with sprouts and little exactly. radishes and some sea salt and pepper on top. This is also uh, really great with hot sauce. That is also really great with real eggs. Anything with avocado, I know will nourish me for hours. So <laughs> I love to have avocado toast in the morning, avocado. But how will it nourish you? So check this out, nutrition facts for avocados. It has 15 grams of fat and it has 9 grams of carbohydrates. Again, pretty equal in carbohydrates. Many people like to believe that avocados are purely fat, which is not true. As any plant food, it is always a 50-50 deal with, of course, very little protein, just 2 grams of protein which of course not absorbable either if you get zero point something out of the avocado you got lucky here this very disingenuous google is listing vitamin a with two percent which is not correct either vitamin a is not to be found in plant foods it is beta carotene therefore two percent is absolutely nothing now you take the conversion rate you end up at zero yet again you have a little bit of vitamin c 1% of calcium, iron 3%, which is not heme iron, super bad absorbable, again conversion rate leads to zero, which you find as well in vitamin D, because you actually have zero. And the same applies for cobalamin, which is B12, zero as well. A little bit of magnesium, that is pretty much it. Now, if you look at eggs on the other hand, you will see that eggs, yes, they are fatty, which is great, but the ratio from fats to carbohydrates is ideal. 11 grams of fat and just one gram of carbohydrates. But on top, eggs pack 13 grams of protein, which is of course massive, real vitamin A, which is fully absorbable, 10% vitamin D, 21%, 18% of B12, magnesium, iron, so on and so forth. So therefore, just with a little bit of eggs, you would have gotten proper nutrition. You would actually nourish yourself. And oatmeal are really great fuel for the day for me. But every time before I eat, I really like to take some deep belly breaths. <sighs> when I'm having dinner with a large group of people, um, I always invite everyone to take some breaths into their stomach, kind of preparing their tummy to receive food. And then also, if I do that, then throughout... If you would eat raw fish, which again is traditional Japanese cuisine, you wouldn't have to do any breath work. You would just sit down and eat. It would be pretty amazing. My whole meal, I feel like I'm still breathing into my stomach and I can check in and really know when I'm full or when I've had enough. I really try to keep bringing my breath to my tummy. And deep belly breathing is just good for all of life. Better for our biology in general to be using our diaphragm instead of just our chest. Lately, um, new age, while, Ooh. you know that I've struggled a lot with kind of imbalanced eating, like eating too healthy or binge eating. 
or eating too healthy. How can there be such a thing? If you look into nature, you will see that every animal has a species specific diet. If you feed those animals something different, they do get sick. Simple as that. In this carnivore community, we are all about grass fed cows. If you feed the cow soy and corn, the cow gets sick because that food is not meant for that species. Now, if you take that into consideration, you will understand healthy food is species-specific food. What is species-specific food? Again, talking about macronutrients that are essential, fats and proteins equals meat. As long as you eat meat, you eat healthy. That is that. Eat grass-fed steaks. It couldn't be any simpler. You would get proper nutrition, proper nourishment. It would be an amazing experience. I just intense body dysmorphia, but I haven't really been feeling that too strong lately. And I think I've just been eating whatever I want most of the time and genuinely eating what my body craves. No, you are not. Ah, oh, man. Think about it logically. Your body is a machine, a biological machine, that has been created thousands and thousands of years ago. Back then, there was no mung bean omelette. Your body can only crave what it is naturally designed to eat. Do you get it? Simple as that. You cannot crave a mung bean omelette, soy protein isolate. That is impossible. What you are craving is eggs. It's just been helping me not have any bad eating patterns. Uh, I don't know. Every time that I... Veganism is the worst eating pattern. Travel somewhere, I notice that I let myself eat a lot and then I feel great in my body. Mm. And for some reason when I'm home, I'm like trying to control things more. And so I would control my food really intensely. But if I want a bag of chips, I'll just eat, eat species specific chips. If I want cereal, I'll eat cereal. But most of the time, I genuinely just want. If you're craving chips, you have a protein deficiency. If you crave ice, you have an iron deficiency. Well established. I want bowls of vegetables. So I've been eating that a lot. Sure, that's what you and want. And really just nourishing my body with everything that it needs. Because if you tell yourself you can't have something, it just makes you want it even more. So I don't restrict myself in any way. <laughs> Yes, but you do. You're vegan. Of course you restrict yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Into my body more. It's like I can have that cake what and those the chips hell? and the ice cream and you know the vegan junk foods. Uh. <laughs> but I just know what my body feels like after I eat that. And honestly, I don't know how I used to eat so many soy-based products because mm. every time I eat them now, I just get so bloated and feel yes. so tired and I <sighs> He told me once you start eating meat again, you will tell yourself, I really do not know how I was eating so many plant foods. I really don't understand how I ate mung bean omelettes. I've been trying to eat as like whole foods, plant-based as possible with as little processing. But why? Because it why do you really destroy makes yourself? I'm so exhausted any time that I eat mm. those fake meat kind of things. And I wish that it didn't because they're really tasty, but oh. um, I've definitely been listening Fake meat is really tasty. You know what else is really tasty? Meat! To that a lot. Saliva also helps to break down our food before it gets into our stomach. Yeah, so if you believe that you are a bird and you think eating starches is a good idea, then saliva helps with that. Otherwise, you don't even need it. You can just bite off chunks of raw meat, raw fish. You can swallow it like so. No worries. So it's good not to talk too much when you're eating, even though eating is usually such a social event and such a like, ritual that you do with other people. It's just Yeah, so if you usually eat meat, you can actually talk. So cool how everything that we put into our bodies is feeding every part of this system that we have going on like what we eat affects our nails and our hair and our eyesight and our bones and kind of sometimes feels like a lot of pressure like how can i properly nourish everything within my body um i haven't taken my vitamins but why do you feel pressure again just eat species specific fats and proteins simple as that there's no pressure it is a joy it is fun to eat steaks and sashimi i just don't Fun. We recommend them because certain vitamins shouldn't be taken together because they cancel each other out and I didn't realize that until I did my doula training. So I don't want to recommend the ones that I have because Help they me. are just a bunch of vitamins like mixed into one and they're pretty Help big and I have to take four of them a day which is not oh. the most convenient. Um, so until I find vitamins that are properly like 
place together. I'm not going to recommend them. Hmm, let me think. Let me find vitamins that are properly placed together. Almost as if it would be in a natural package placed together. Something that I could absorb. What can that be? Hmm. I do take them pretty frequently. This is the DHA that I take. It has omega-3 and it's basically from algae. Yes. And people usually get it from fish, but mm -hmm. instead for the vegan version, you just go straight to the source and straight to the it source. <laughs> it's really good. It has like the tiny straight to the source. That must be the biggest vegan lie. I should do a separate video on that. Straight to the source. How? If you eat algae, you're not gonna absorb anything because newsflash, you are not a fish. The same applies to grass. We should go straight to the source. It is an absolute scam, a marketing tactic. Think about it. Usually cows eat grass, right? That is ideal. Can you eat grass? Can you get anything out of that food? No, you can't. The cow can and grass tastes delicious to that cow. It is a herbivore. That cow doesn't want to eat soy sausages or cornflakes. Now, in this disgusting system, we feed the cows soy and corn. And idiot consumers believe they can eat the soy and the corn. Get straight to the sauce. Yes, fishy or like oceany flavor, but this oh. is in the lemon. This isn't sponsored, by the way. Um, I do have an affiliate link that I will link down below if you want cool. it. We kind of I want just it. become what we're surrounding ourselves with and what we're eating. And so I definitely try to be mindful of the conversation. So you became an algae. Conversations that I'm having and the people in my life because the people who surround you are a reflection of you. Those connections that nurture your soul. So much I new age so woo, young. my head is going to explode. <laughs> So food. That's soul food. Everyone has their own little meditation. Energy vampires. So to start, let's define what an energy vampire is. There's so much beauty in that, and I can connect with literally anyone because I I know that everyone has a spirit and a part of them that can feel oh, exactly all the ways that I can feel. And Poor I reflect girl. on that often because I find myself in some just weird situations where it's like, I just really feel like I'm dancing between all these different realms of being and all these different ways of life. And I can wow. really learn from, from people how they go about it. Now you're just delusional. That is all new age woo belief systems paired with nutritional deficiencies that lead to pseudo enlightenment. This existence and it's really interesting. It's really beautiful. And also just learning about people's psychology. So it is good so to hang out with people that reflect your light, but also to hang out with people that maybe have different opinions than you and that you can learn from. Uh, yes, take the dropper. I think I'm going to add some elderberry mm. syrup to my tea. I have my little apothecary here with all of my things, so it's it's really sweet. It's my little medicine cabinet. Super sweet. But why do you need medicine if you're a healthy vegan? If your diet is so healthy, you wouldn't need medicine, right? This is so good. I'm so grateful for my morning rituals. What in the fuck? Yet again, absolute mental illness. So now, let me think. You are dancing in your room. If somebody would peek through the window and would see you doing what you're doing, you would probably be embarrassed. However, now you decide to display this to millions of viewers on YouTube because somehow it became socially acceptable. Yet again, total mental illness. I'm so happy. I am smiling. I'm so grateful. Yes, believe me, believe me, and I will believe it too. I am the happiest. Oh, spiritualization process in man and woman. It's probably one of my favorite meals of the oh. day. I've been making macro bowls a lot, aka just veggie bowls, and I essentially cool. chop up all the vegetables that I have on hand and cook them in various ways. So today I For chopped what? up a bunch of cauliflower, mixed it with olive oil, sea salt, Nothing and pepper, and then just baked it in the oven at 350 for about 20-25 minutes until they get kind of... Believe it or not, vegans then... cook cauliflower because they believe it resembles chicken. Yes, I know. Some onion, garlic, and radishes. Yet again, and then kale. Every good vegan has to eat kale. Said it a million times before, kale is so toxic that even ruminant animals wouldn't eat it. Really, that is the reality of 
things. Then smart businessmen thought to themselves, hmm, let's sell it to the idiot consumers. Let's put it into a Whole Foods and those idiots will buy it, even though it tastes like shit. After that was done cooking, I steamed some kale. I don't like to steam it for too long because I don't want it to lose its nutritional value. What and nutritional then I just value is the kale? everything together. I had some leftover quinoa from previous dinner, so I just kind of put that in the middle and just filled up my plate with Poor so girl. many veggies. This one is kind of random, but I love how having white cannelli beans. So you already listened twice to the plant paradox. Meanwhile, you're still a vegan. <laughs> How come? Beans with taco seasoning. Oh. Um, it is a good source of protein and these cannelli beans are just really... No, it actually is not a good source of protein. Yet again, the ratio from protein to carbohydrates is pretty much 50-50. And on top of that, the biological value of beans is very, very low. Pair that with the lactans in beans. You're not gonna absorb much. Yummy, but sometimes I have jackfruit instead and then I added these beets uh. that have probiotics and kale and are just really healthy and tasty looks and to healthy top it all right off, to make this, even this more is what delicious, we learned this, this must be healthy not healthy at all and it was so so nothing good. healthy about this no nutrition no bioavailable protein or vitamins zero poor girl why why, why, why? I people get a little bit tired in the afternoon and I don't drink coffee and Depends I don't really on drink what caffeine. You eat. So I love that making good. just a nice tea. I boiled some oat milk and yeah, well, used this golden drink spice Boils down mix to the I same. Of course, coffee has higher amounts of caffeine, but tea is a stimulant as well. So it comes down to the same. From Dual Spice Shop in the Lower East Side. It is so good. The main ingredient is turmeric and has cardamom and so many other delicious spices. All you need is about one teaspoon per cup and you just mix it all together with some agave. It's just so soothing to the tummy. I like to eat. Yeah, I reckon this should resemble golden milk, which is an Ayurvedic medicine, an Ayurvedic recipe where you take real milk, ideally raw milk, and then you blend it with turmeric and real honey. All of that is pretty nutritious, right? Real raw honey, real raw milk, delicious and nutritious. However, now she tries to copy that recipe and make it with plants. That is impossible. You're not gonna get any nutrition out of this. Eat this with roasted pumpkin seeds uh. or an apple or pear in the afternoon. Great. For dinner, I made what I feel is a comfort meal using this spaghetti squash. So I took the seeds out and then just poured some olive oil, salt and pepper on each one and mm -hmm. placed them face down on a pan into the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay. And while that was roasting, I made this vegan ricotta sauce. This isn't my recipe, so I'll link the original. Literally every single meal resembles animal foods. Why is that so? Because now, me, he told me, I am listening to my body and this is what I really crave. Down below, but Come it's on. basically just lemon, Wake up, girl. olive oil, firm tofu that's been drained, nutrition. Didn't you just say that you don't eat any soy products anymore? What happened? Yeast, some other spices, all Resembling blended together, cheese. and then about a cup of basil. And Oxalates. it's actually really good. It looks kind of questionable, but it's really enjoyable. It does. And after this, and that is your senses telling you that this is not food. It looks questionable. Why do you convince yourself that it is good for you? Spaghetti squash was fully cooked. I scooped out the oh. little spaghettis, oh. which come out so easily. And it's just crazy that nature creates this. And I put them onto the pan again, layering. Nature the does not create this. Humans do. All those plant foods that you're eating right now are man-made. Newsflash, I know. You wouldn't find any of those spaghetti squashes in nature. They've been hybridized and bred by us people. This vegan ricotta with tomato sauce and then doing a second layer of the spaghetti and then, of course, a final layer of tomato sauce and... Yeah, you're desperately trying to attempt an Italian dish. Absolute insult to Italy, yet again, absolutely disgusting and not nutritious whatsoever. 
this tries to resemble cheese. Vegan ricotta because it's kind Don't of like a say lasagna. That way. It's not. And then I put it to bake at 350 for about 15 minutes and added disgusting. a little sprinkle of nutritional yeast on it. But really disgusting. Looks super dry. This shit is not going to taste good. Top and some fresh basil. I like to add hot sauce to this because I kind of like to add a little bit of hot sauce to everything. But mm. I definitely recommend this meal. Don't. So my dinner i'm so stoked for this this is so delicious it is it does take some time to make this this is probably the most time consuming thing that i make but Sad. you can also just skip all the other vegan ricotta steps and the lasagna e steps and just and just call your favorite italian restaurant and get a proper lasagna <laughs> sauce over this butternut squash and it's really delicious and if you're into it you can just add your own like pre-made vegan cheese that you like no i don't like mm -hmm. vegan cheese and why would you recommend it honestly think about it vegan cheese is just pressed canola oil why would you recommend that to any human i feel really grateful to be <sighs> so many meals everything home, everything is so grateful i feel so happy so grateful it is a mantra you're not happy you cannot be happy by definition. You are malnourished. You will never be able to get nutrition out of those plants. Therefore, you won't be happy. You can repeat happiness, spirituality, enlightenment, together, energies. You won't be happy if you do not eat meat. Little tin Tupperware containers so I can take my little macro bowls out into the world with me. Macro oh, balls. That's really what it is. It is a macro bowl. Macros of carbohydrates. That's all. You don't have any micros. Grocery shopping once every week and a half or two weeks and getting everything that I need, meal prepping and just trying to be really efficient. And then mm. I don't need to like go out and spend money on food, which also half the time when I spend money on food, it's like junk food and not as healthy for me. So I feel really sad. good in my body these last few you days. You feel I'm really so sad. Every time I walk outside, I just feel like the sun is so fleeting. So I'm just so stoked when the sun actually is out. And I feel like I mentioned this before, but when your body is moving, your mind is moving. When your body is still, it's more likely that your mind will be more still. And so as much as I sit in stillness and meditate and use yoga as a way to quiet my mind, I love going on meditative walks because then I can like process through anything that I do need to go through in my head or like projects uh, or scheduling things. Or what do you ideas, need to go through in your head? Just eat natural food. Just eat your species specific diet. And please stop talking. It is way too much. And guys, this video is long enough. Yet again, another young vegan female on YouTube talking about woo-woo new agey belief systems that will lead them to their own demise will absolutely deplete them will make them sick in the long run just sad to see as always always starting out with something funny something light and then the video ends in absolute depression now i have to leave eat a fat steak to feel good again this is what i have to do no breath work needed no meditation practice i just need to eat some meat to recover from this video all right guys but this is for today if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do so and guys if you want to support the channel all the links are in the description box below we have amazon links for you you can head over there buy whatever you might want to buy and it doesn't cost you anything extra we get a small share that is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle, or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it for today thank you very much for your support and as always much love and peace